Next, we're going to talk about creating a recovery drive. And this is really important to do, and most people simply don't do it. And I've got to tell you, it has saved me several times. Of course, I experiment a lot being a computer guy, and um, so I tend to crash my system here and there, and then I need my recovery drive to fix things. So I have one right here, this little key-shaped USB drive, and um, I'm not going to rewrite on top of it today, but I will use it to demonstrate how we create a recovery drive. So we're going to go to Control Panel, System and Security, Administrative Tools, Recovery Drive. There's Control Panel, System and Security, Administrative Tools, and Recovery Drive right here. Okay, it uh, asks us to, uh, or tells us at least, that uh, if your PC won't start, the recovery drive will. It's a bootable drive, and so you can back up your system files to this drive. So I'm going to take this and plug it into my little uh, USB power strip that I have here and uh, turn on that port, and then uh, click Next. Now it's going to take probably three or four, maybe five minutes for it to look at the drive, so I'll pause the video. Okay, we're back, and you can see that it has now found my recovery drive. I'm not going to click Next and rewrite over top of it, but notice that it does have to be at least eight gigabytes, and that everything on that drive will be deleted. So if I clicked Next, it would probably take some time. In fact, the last time I did this, it took several hours and I had to just leave it overnight and let it make the drive and it was successfully done the next day. Alright, that's it on the system recovery drive.